Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Valentine's Day makeup look, whether you're going out with your friends or your boo thing. <laughs> this look is perfect if you wanna do something more dramatic. If you would like to learn how to do this makeup look for Valentine's Day, <laughs> then just keep on watching. So I already did my brows, but I'm probably gonna have to go back in and do them again when I put on my foundation. When I do my eyeshadows, I like for my brows to be done because it helps to kind of map out my situation for my eyeshadow. And for some reason, they look very warm on camera, but like in person, they're not that warm. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna start by priming our eyelids and I'm using the Urban Decay Original Primer Potion. I'm doing my eyes first today, so you're seeing my skin in all its glory. <laughs> and so yeah. Today I'm going to be using a mixture of the Sigma Warm Neutrals Palette, Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. So starting with the shade Toasty, I'm going to use this as my transition color. So I'm just going to blend this in the upper crease area using a MAC 224 brush. Okay, so Valentine's Day. I know you guys probably have seen a lot of pink eyeshadow looks. My one tip for you guys for this look is I'm just doing this kind of blindly. I'm doing this tutorial not really aware of what you guys are wearing. So if you like to follow tutorials, I would recommend that you follow the shades that I'm using in my crease. And then on the lid, you can change out the pink to use like something that's more bronzy or something more green, depending on whatever you're wearing, something to match it or even make it a dark brown on the lid to do like a smoky look for Valentine's Day. But I think it's festive to do the pink. So that's why I'm doing the pink today. The next thing I'm going to do is mix Henna and Rouge, those two shadows together. And it's just gonna create more of a warm brown red shadow and it's gonna help to deepen up the outer V area and a little bit into the crease. I'm tapping the color on first and then I'm going to kind of blend in circular motions to get rid of the harsh lines and then bring it into the crease just a little bit. And I'm using a Thrive Cosmetics eyeshadow crease brush. So that's how this eye is looking so far. At this point, I'm going to go back in with that first shadow and just blend the edges just a little bit, a little bit out in this region just to make sure that the shadows are seamless. And then with the Chocolate Gold palette, I'm going to go in with New Money. So similar to my Allure Magazine recreation video five, the one that I just did on the recreation of Kerry Washington's look. In that video, I took a blending brush to apply my shimmer shade on my lid. And that's just gonna help give a really nice wash of the color as opposed to using a Let's see, as opposed to using a more flat brush because with the flat brush, when you apply the shimmer shade, it kind of cuts the crease when you apply it. It gives a more defined effect. Well, I don't really want that for this look. I want something that's very effortless. So I'm taking a blending brush to just kind of tap on that shadow on the lid. You can even bring it on top of the outer corner as well. And then I'm gonna go back in with those two shades we used in our outer corner, just to deepen it up a little bit, kind of doing a tapping motion. All right, for lashes, I'm going to apply the Ardell 600. Let me take them out of the plastic, because <laughs> it's reflecting. Now you guys can see better. The Ardell 600 lashes, and I really, really like these. Like these are in my current favorites that you guys are gonna see on Friday. So while my lashes are getting a little tacky, I'm going to do my favorite step of my eye looks here lately. I'm gonna add a little bit of the MAC Photo Gravier Eyeliner. This does not have to be perfect at all. Well, I would say it doesn't have to be perfect if you're applying lashes. If you're just wearing mascara, then you'd wanna spend a little bit more time getting it straight, but I'm not, because I'm wearing lashes. Alrighty, so we're going to prime and I'm going to start with the Fenty Beauty Primer. I'm going to do the face routine that I did last night. You guys didn't see it, <laughs> but 
I went to a basketball game last night and I really liked how my face was looking. I like how it lasted. I liked everything. See, this is why I don't like doing my brows first because now I got to be careful. And I don't like being careful with my face still. Okay, and then I did a second primer. I never do two primers. I wanted to use a smoothing primer, like a pore filling silicone -y primer. So I used the DHC Velvet Skin Coat. I got this from Amazon. At the time, I don't know what it is now, but at the time, this was the best primer according to the reviews on Amazon. So I bought it and I wouldn't say that it's the best primer, but I'm just applying it really to my T-zone and in my smile lines. So I was thinking earlier that I want you guys to ask me a question as far as something you need help with with your makeup routine and I want to answer a new question in each of my makeup tutorials. I want to help you guys in each video. I try to mention things that I struggle with as far as like when I'm talking about how to apply things, but I don't know what you guys struggle with with applying makeup. So just ask me a question. I'm gonna remind you guys in the next few videos. And if someone asks a makeup question that you wanna know the answer to as well, then just like their comment. So I know that you guys want, really wanna know that one. So things such as, I can't get my makeup to last longer throughout the day. Something simple like that. So then I'll know in the next video, okay, let me spend more time talking about how I can help keep their makeup lasting longer. So questions like that or whatever you're struggling with, just leave them down below. I'll focus on one in my next makeup tutorial and so on and so forth. So yeah, I like the idea. I hope you guys like it too. <laughs> okay, so I got the primers on, the two primers and I'm going to apply a mixture, the LA Colors Foundation, and then the CoverGirl Vitalist Go Glow Luminizing Lotion in the shade Daybreak. I applied two pumps of the LA Colors Foundation, a little bit of this, and then I took my angled foundation brush from Sigma, the F88, and I blended it on the back of my hand, and then I just tapped it on my face because I didn't want to move around that smoothing primer. Okay, and then for concealer, I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I said I was gonna try the CoverGirl Concealer. So I guess this isn't exactly like what I used last night. I'm going to try the Vitalist Healthy Concealer. I already pumped it up before I started, so it's already some on there. But this actually looks like it's a little too light, so I'm gonna mix it Oh yeah, like, whoa. So I don't think that it smooths out across my skin. I think it kind of picks up all the texture on my skin. And I also think it's a little too watery. So you can see when I come up close that you can kind of see all the texture underneath my eye. Now let's set it, and I'm going to use the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the shade Banana. All right, and then I'm going to warm up my skin with the NYX Dark Tan Bronzer. I just closed my window because I felt like one side of this, this side of my face was lighter than this side. And then yesterday I used the darker shade in the new MAC highlighting palette. This is the Get It Glowing palette, the gold one. All the shades in this palette work for my skin tone. I haven't tried the rose gold one yet, but all of these work really well on my skin, especially for people that like to wear highlight every day. I said this on my picture on Instagram. I swatched both palettes. It's not shimmery, it just gives you a glow. And I really like that. Okay, so back to eyes. I'm going to use the shade Beaming for my inner corner highlight. It has a pink undertone to it. So it's gonna go with this look. So I'm going to put on mascara and I'm going to focus so I don't put this in my eye like last time because that was so painful. We're just going to act like that's not there. I'll flick it off in a minute when it dries. So for blush, I'm going to use my blush that broke, the Becca Blushed Copper Blush. That was a tongue twister. 
For lips, I'm going to line them with NYX Lip Pencil in the shade Espresso and fill in the center with Max Derriere Lipstick. And then set everything in place with some setting spray. And that is how to do this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave me your questions down in the comment section so I can focus on one in each tutorial to try to help you guys out a little bit more. So yeah, make sure that you like this video and subscribe. And I promise I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.